What's happening guys? Uh, today, the plan is to fix the um, Smart Hitch 2 on this Boss V-Plow. It's an RT3, so it's not super old, but it's it's getting up there in age. Um, I looked up online and I haven't found a single video about it. Um, this is pretty much the issue is all the springs are snapped so that these don't lock it into place. So at any point this could pop up and we could lose a pin while we're plowing. So pretty much I'm just gonna plug and play and see how it's working because you can see that rusted right off and it's not doing anything anymore. And on this side, I lost the piece that hooks around the end here. As you can see right here, it's still here, but over here it's missing. So the piece that holds on rusted off and that flopped out of there. Um, so yeah, let's dive into it. So let's see what we got in these packages. I can open the box. It looks right. Same thing there. We have the new clip. That looks like it might be a little bit too big. Um, yeah, it's the wrong one, but I might be able to make it work. Well, I'll leave the um, links in the description so if you guys are running into this problem, you can get it as well. So it looks like this is the part that rusted off. And that's where I believe that connects and that pops it out, pops it in. So all right, yeah, let's let's work on this side first because it's right here. Um, it looks like we have to take this bolt off out here. So yeah, let's get some tools. Oh, let's grab this. And I believe, looks like it's just a 716, yeah, nice. Oh, can't shoot it right off. Hopefully that just slides right out. No, it doesn't look like it's going to. These are the pieces right here, stopping it from coming out. So that I can't drill it out, so let's go ahead and cut that. So when you're doing this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you stay straight. Let me just straighten this out a little bit. So we're all the way through. Probably gonna wanna get a bigger drill bit though, if I got one. All right, so we'll get that piece and we'll try to get it in there. There she is. I'm gonna remember that it has to go that way. So, pop this out. It's gonna go this way. I'm gonna drill it that side a little bit more. Maybe we can tap that right out of there. Let's 
Nice. Okay, let's now grab this on this side. And we're just gonna pop that. Screwdriver back out. Let's see you later. Doesn't like to get beat on, I guess. So that makes a little bit more sense now. Okay, so you see this pin right here is the yellow one that comes with it. It slides right out. So in the, in the instructions, see it? And there's a little slot on this side here. You slide it into that slot and you find the hole. And you have to line up that nut perfectly so you can slide it right across right through that slot and it comes right out on the other side here got it that's one of them and the second one right here i don't know if you can see that but Okay, let's go the other way. Maybe the other side of it. There we go. So now those are both on. They'll both stretch onto this piece here. And then slide onto here. So now you can lock it in place. This is off. So now you can slide it around. And this is on. Locks it right into place. So now you can't get it out. But I still have to put this pin in right here so that it locks it into place. I don't know if you guys are getting a good view of that. But... Well, I lost the recording on that. but. Pretty much, I did the same thing as I did the other side. Just held on to that with a 3 8 and this with a 7 16 Tightened it down just enough so that it still has uh, the ability to rotate and move around. And then I popped the bolt in for this new claw piece to hold in the end of it, right here. This claw slaps over the top of it, but this is bent. So I need to bend this back into place um, so this claw can grab it and hold it into place. So if you hit like a snowbank or something, it doesn't magically pop right out of there because it's happened to me before and it's not fun. So let's go ahead and bang that back into place. So now, now that that's there, we can... Just gotta tighten that down, that little claw piece. I wonder if it's the same size bolt. It is a 7 16 but is this a 3 8 
It's not in this. Sorry, but it is seven sixteenths. It's a little loose. And you're not saving, you're not holding the world together with this bolt. You're just putting it down there so it doesn't rattle around and move around and everything. Still need it to be able to move nicely, so it's a little tight. Moving around nice. That's all in there nicely. And then when you pop it out, out. What's holding that? Yeah, you might just want to hold on to that. All right, that's fixed. Move on to the next one.